Hey guys, it's Barrett with the Give Me Camper. So do you have standard RV Roman blinds? Do they just drive you nuts because they just won't stay tight? You know, you got the screws down at the bottom. That's where you gotta adjust the uh, tension on those blinds for them to stay, stay good and tight. That way they stay all the way up or all the way down. And if you're like me, that screw and that Luan just pulls right out of there and half of your blinds, you get mad, you won't set your RV on fire. Well, I'm telling you, I found a solution for that. So thanks to my friend Tim on the Keystone Facebook groups, I have learned this little trick that has saved my sanity. So I've tried a couple of other types of anchors with no luck, but the 1 8 inch Hillman pop toggle anchors work great in RV walls. We have one set of blinds that fall prey to this because of the dogs constantly nudging the bottom of the blinds up. If you got some dogs and you got a window that's kind of low, you know what I'm talking about. We got one in our hallway and when we're outside, they just try to come and see what's going on. They just try to nudge that thing up all the time and eventually the screw starts falling out. I can't get it to stay in there. I've been carrying these around for a while, but I finally decided to put one in. All it took was a 5 16 inch drill bit for a pilot hole. Then you just put the pop toggle in. I will say it comes with a little yellow pusher tool that's supposed to spread that toggle open by pushing it in the wall there. Mine just broke as soon as I tried to use it. Didn't work at all. I felt kind of sad. I thought I'll try it anyway. I put the screw in and the screw held very secure, more secure than anything that I've personally tried in an RV wall in the past. Now I want to keep this video short and sweet because there's not really a whole lot to talk about here. I found these anchors. They work great. If you're having issues with your blinds coming loose, I highly suggest that you check these out. I am going to have a link for Amazon that's an affiliate link in the description below. It does help out the channel a little bit if you use the link, um, but I'm, you can pick these up at your local hardware store. I happen to go ahead and buy mine from Amazon, and so the link that I'm giving you is the same exact thing that I used in the video. And while you're here, I'd be appreciative if you just hit that uh, subscribe button so you followed us around for our next adventure in next week's video. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button.